I can hardly contain my excitement for today's video because I found the cutest pieces for summer at Nordstrom, but it's also time to talk about one of my favorite times of the year, and I'm sure y'all can guess what that is by the title of this video. But let's talk a little bit about the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I honestly can't believe the time is almost here. Like, where did this last year go? Obviously last year I was three months postpartum and I was covering the Nordstrom sale last year, but I just feel like the time has just flown by and I cannot believe we're coming up on a another year here. So before we jump into the Nordstrom haul, I just wanted to share what's to come for Nordstrom sale 2022. So although I cannot officially release the dates just yet, they have not been made public. I'm sure that's coming really soon. I have been told some dates, so I'll give y'all a little hint. Um, as far as the timeline of things, it's going to be very similar to last year. However, when I put it on my calendar, it seems shorter than it was last year, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because I feel like the end of the sale kind of drags on a little bit, especially after things are already sold out. But at the same time, that means less time to kind of snag a return because with the sale, a lot of times people are returning and you can often find restock. So we'll see how that ends up going. But I just wanted to share what you can expect from me this year and kind of give you a heads up on some fun dates to look out for. So I've been told that the preview this year is going to be released the very last week of June. So I am expecting to release my 2022 Nordstrom sale lookbook that Friday, which I think is July 1st. Now, if you are new here to my channel or you don't know what I'm talking about with the lookbook, that is my favorite thing to put together for y'all every single year. So last year, I can't remember. Honestly, I know it was a lot. I think it was like 200 or 250 outfits. I could be wrong, but I think it was an excessive amount of outfits. And then the year before that, it was a hundred fall outfits. So if you did not pick up those copies, I can still send them to you. I will link them down below if you want to sign up and look at previous lookbooks. Um, and you can totally still use those for inspiration this year as well, because a lot of times there's pretty similar pieces so you can recreate them. And every single lookbook, you can click to shop the pieces. So I will get that to you very early on before the sale has even started so you can start formulating your wish list and get an idea of what your wardrobe needs for the fall season. And then as far as when the sale starts, it's looking like it's going to be the first week of July, I believe. And then of course they're going to open up in tiers based on the amount that you spend. And then the public access will be kind of mid July. And then I think pretty sure the sale is going to be ending at the end of June. So that's why I think it's a little bit shorter this year. I will of course have a dedicated video once the dates are officially released with a lot more information, but I do have a Nordstrom sale page over on my blog, strawberrychicblog.com. And on that page, it's a really good source of everything you need to know. I link like previous posts on it, shopping tips, all of the things. So that's gonna be your basically headquarters for Nordstrom sale coming up this year. So I will link all of that stuff for you down below. I can't wait to cover that sale in detail for y'all. I'll have lots of try on hauls, giveaways, the lookbook, and so much more inspiration to share. So stay tuned for that. And if you are excited for Nordstrom sale, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my coverage for the sale. All right, that's all I have for now about Nordstrom sale. Obviously I have plenty to come, cannot wait, but let's jump in to this summer Nordstrom haul. All right, starting off with a favorite, I have already reached for this top twice since picking it up earlier this month and I know I'm gonna continue reaching for it throughout the summer. I love the fit and the eyelet detail. It is just so precious to me, but it's also like a good summer top. It's flowy, but it's not too boxy. So it's not going to like trap in the heat. It is also nursing friendly as well. It has functional buttons through here and I feel like the ruffle is just perfectly done. So this is definitely a favorite. I am wearing a size small and it has a roomy fit. So if you are typically in between sizes, I would recommend a size down. Like I have plenty of room. I could have done an extra small, but I honestly like the looser fit for summer. And then next is this pair of kind of cropped flared white jeans. I love a white jean year round. Like I wear them winter pretty much every season and I love a good skinny jean, but I was looking to mix it up with something more current, I guess. So I thought this was perfect. 
this brand is definitely a splurge um, in comparison to like jeans that I normally wear, but they are very comfortable and I feel like they fit really nice and are very flattering. Um, I will look for a look for less to these if these are out of your price point, but I'm very impressed with them and as far as like the comfort level. And then these little sandals are so cute. I've shared these in my recent Target haul. If you haven't seen that, I will link it down below. Definitely one of my favorite recent Target buys. They're actually surprisingly so comfortable. I wore them the other day for errands walking around the mall. And when I go to the mall, I am like a power walker. Like I'm just there to like, I'm on a mission, I guess. And I had no issues with my feet and I've worn them a bunch of times since then. So definitely recommend. I think they're so cute for summer. All right, next switching gears, I discovered this brand. At least they're new to me. I don't know if they're necessarily new. But I loved so many of their pieces and I thought this would be so fun for summer events coming up or if you're looking for a wedding guest dress. I love this tiered maxi skirt on the bottom and then the top is just smocked but it's very comfortable. It's not like a tight smocking and I also find it to be very flattering especially like in the underarm area. Um, adjustable straps, I would say this is very nursing friendly as well. And I just love the print. I am wearing out my normal size small. I would say if you're in between, you could size down. And then I paired it with this darling bow clutch. This would be a great like wedding guest clutch. And I have found a couple look for less options to this as well that I'll link down below. And then I just paired it with a simple white sandal. All right, this is another piece from that brand and it is just too darling for words has this pink and green floral print and then subtle little lace trim details throughout. At first, I wasn't sure if this top was going to work for me since the smocking sits above the chest, but I'm very happy that it did indeed work out. I would say this is nursing friendly, even bump friendly, and the strap ties are adjustable. They are pretty long, so you do get a very cute and dramatic bow that just makes the piece just so darling. Um, so another favorite from that brand that I just discovered, I am wearing my normal size small. If you are in between, I would say go down a size. Gosh, this dress is so stunning. I think this is one of my favorite Nordstrom hauls already. I just love so many of these pieces. This one I was eyeing right before I left for the beach, but I couldn't get it in time. It's very, very similar to a pink maxi dress that I got at Abercrombie that has been sold out. So if you missed one on that one, I think this one is just as good of an option, if not slightly cuter. I love the color blocking here. It's a really flowy, comfortable maxi dress. I am wearing a medium here. I almost think I could have gotten the small. It's just pretty roomy. Typically, I am a medium in this brand. And... This is actually one of my favorite brands to shop for girly pieces. I'm always drawn to their pieces. I will warn you, they do typically sell out pretty quickly in sizes, but they're carried at a bunch of retailers. So I will link where it's available down below. And if you have a very girly style like I do, I also will link a recent blog post I did where I shared my favorite retailers to build a feminine wardrobe. And this is one of the brands that I mentioned in that blog post. So if you're curious about that and where I like to shop, I will link that source for you down below. Um, but this is another favorite. It's just like an effortless summer dress that you can dress up or down. And I feel like this is a piece that you will just receive a ton of compliments on. It's just so stunning and flowy. Um, I love the cut of the top. It honestly just feels like a princess dress to me. I also thought this was really cute. So if you love hats like I do, this is one of my favorite hats that I've had a couple years from Nordstrom. I love it because it has different sizes. So if you have a really small head or a little bit of a bigger head, hopefully this hat will work for nearly everyone. Um, and if you are curious, I have the size small and on a windy day, it could be a little roomy, but the extra small was just too snug, especially um, if you have hair extensions. So I wear the small on this one, but I wanted to talk about this clip because if you like to travel with your hats or if you're going to and from the beach all the time, and you just want to store your hat and kind of like not wear it all the time, you can just clip this onto your bag. Or if you're traveling, it just makes traveling so much easier with the hat so you don't have to wear it. 
because typically when I would travel with them, if I didn't fit it in my suitcase, I would just wear it on the plane. Um, so I thought this was genius, and this is actually developed from a fellow YouTuber I used to watch. So I just loved the idea, thought it was really unique, and wanted to support her business. I know that this line is carried at Nordstrom, but I did find this ruffly version elsewhere. So I will link where you can shop these down below. All right, next is this cute little linen top. I love the natural gingham color, and they do have a matching short to this as well if you want to do the matching set. I, of course, y'all know me, I paired it with white jeans. These are the Spanx pair that I shared last week, and I still am obsessed with them. They're so comfortable. If you missed my Spanx video, I do have a code with them. It's Amanda John X Spanx, and I am wearing a medium in these. In the top, I'm wearing a small. I actually put this on backwards at first. It has buttons in the back and it totally works either way. And I would just say that because if you're a nursing mom, wearing the buttons in the front makes it way more functional to nurse in. So I thought that was like something I just wouldn't have thought about trying purposefully <laughs> if I didn't do it on accident. Um, the small does have a very roomy fit, but I find that that's very comfortable for the summertime just so things aren't like clinging to you and trapping in heat. So if you are in between sizes, I would recommend a size down. It's not hanging like too loose to where it's showing any of my like bra or anything, but it does have a pretty loose and kind of boxy fit overall. And then these sandals are very affordable and the reviews were great. So they kind of sold me on them. They're so comfortable. You can see they have lots of padding in them. They come in a couple different colors and they do run true to size does remind me of the pair from Target that's a little bit darker, but I really like this lighter neutral personally. Next is this sweet little floral top, and I know I've shared this on my channel here in the past. I know I styled it with white jeans in my Sphinx video, um, but here is how I would style it casually in like the dead of summer when it's super hot. I just paired it with my favorite denim shorts. These are the absolute best so flattering so comfortable and they're the only pair of denim shorts that i keep in my wardrobe and really the only pair that i have ever loved the fit of um, i'm wearing a size 28 in these i pre-baby was a 26 and i kind of sized up in them for a looser fit because they do run a little bit roomier but i like that loose fit um, and then for the top i am wearing a medium I could get it taken in a tiny bit here in the chest. I tried the small and I just was kind of busting out of it. So I did prefer the medium fit, but it is still a little bit roomy through here. So eventually I'll get that kind of tailored so it's perfect. But it is just the most darling little top. It has some texture to it. And I just love the like cropped baby doll fit. It looks really well when you pair it with tighter fitting bottoms because it kind of balances out have girls night tonight and I'm thinking I may wear this. And then I paired it again with those sandals. I really love this light color. They just kind of blend in with my skin tone, um, but they are just so comfortable. This is not from Nordstrom. I just randomly had it out and was sharing it on Instagram and I wanted to throw it into this video because summer coming up, this is one of my all time favorite Amazon purchases. I got it back in 2020. It's so powerful. It's extremely lightweight. It fits in your back pocket. So if you haven't picked this up yet, I would definitely get it, especially for summertime. You will be thanking me all summer long. Um, I think it's 13 bucks and they even have like one day shipping. All right, this top is a fail for me. Definitely gonna be returning it. I didn't style it appropriately. Like these shorts aren't balancing it, the outfit out very well, but I don't even think if I reordered this in a small that I would still like it or like it for what I was going for. Um, the color did end up being more peachy orange than I was hoping for as well. I kind of feel like a Flintstone ice cream popsicle thing that just like randomly popped in my head from school. The sleeves are also extremely long as well. I am wearing a medium. I would say if you are eyeing this, definitely size down. I think it could be styled super cute, but it's just not a super like functional piece worth worth investing into my wardrobe so i'm going to be returning it but still wanted to share the fails with y'all this is another bummer that i'm going to have to return but what is happening with this romper it had so much potential it's like 
cute little eyelet print. I like the top. I feel like it's very flattering, great for summertime, but they lost me at the bottom half because this is just not flattering for me. Um, and I would like to like fold it over and kind of shorten the shorts if I could, but there's not enough wiggle room in this area. So sadly, this is another return. Had so much potential for summer, man. Like with a cute little sun hat and some sandals. But no, I think I can maybe hopefully find something similar because I really like it. This just ain't the one. All right, this is a cute little mini dress that's a little bit dressier. Um, it has darling little ruffles and some texture to it. This would be a good like summer work dress. It's very comfortable. It's smocked here at the waist, but it's still like a loose, like comfortable smocking. Um, this would be good like if you're looking for something to wear to someone's like graduation or something like that. I will link some graduation dresses down below if that would be helpful. I am wearing a size small. This is another brand that I need to check out their other options because I haven't heard of them before. But according to this, they look like they'll be right up my alley. And this would also be a good little summer like wedding guest dress if you're going somewhere more casual. In the summertime, I feel like weddings in general lead a little more casually because of how hot they get. The sleeves are still sheer, um, so that will keep you cooler, but still give you some coverage if you are looking for that. I am 5'5 five five for height reference. Paired it here with these braided sandals. These have been a really good um, purchase. I got them last year, and they're very, very comfortable. I have found some look for less options as well that I'll link down below. I think this dress is going to end up being a return, but a part of me likes the dress. So I'm a little torn on it. Let me know what you think down in the comments, but I do love the straps. I think they are so cute. And I think this has a cute fit in the top, but a part of me also feels like it's giving me like made costume vibes. I don't know why. I think these ties here and like, it almost feels like an apron. I don't know. Is it just me or do you guys see it? <laughs> Yeah, it's very weird because I think it's like cute, but at the same time, something's just off about it. And the bottom half is definitely sheer. Like I'm definitely not comfortable wearing it out and about like in the sunlight. I feel like it would just be like, hello world. So I can easily fix that with a slip skirt, which if you need a slip skirt, I'll link the one that I use down below. The top part's lined. So I wish the bottom half had been lined, but I still feel like something's off about it. So I don't know. What do you think? I'm kind of torn. I was looking at my shoe shelf and spotted these and now I wish I wore these with that long maxi tiered floral dress. I feel like they would have been a better shoe to pair with it. Um, kind of dress them up a little bit more and kept the focus on the dress. So yeah, I just wanted to share that thought with y'all. These are a really great like event shoe. They just really make your legs look super long since they are like a clear heel and they're don't dig into you or anything. Um, and then I also thought I would just go ahead and mention too, like some other shoes I purchased from Nordstrom in the past. These wedges I've styled multiple times. Um, these are very comfortable as well. The clouds, I have a review of these and like the wear and tear compared to the Millers. They're definitely not as durable. You can see like the wear and tear of them. Um, but i pretty much reach for these over my Millers these days because they are so much more comfortable and supportive. Um, what else? Anytime I can find a bow flat for y'all, I'm always excited to try it. So I just got these in. This has a very dramatic like silk bow, which is really pretty. And then the material is like a rattan, which is good for summer. I always size up a half size in slides and these are roomy. So I need my true eight and a half. So I would recommend to just stick with your normal size. And if you are in between, I would size down, but they're comfortable, have some good padding, and they also come in pink as well. All right, this is another summer shoe I just recently got in. I actually bought mine at Saks, but I did see them carried at Nordstrom. And it's these Darling Bow Wedges. They're so comfortable. Um, and I didn't have a wedge in this color. So I just could not resist. Speaking of Saks, by the way, I bought these 25% off at the time. And I feel like Saks has been like not somewhere I've shopped a lot recently, but it has been heavily on my radar lately. Um, I always watch for their like designer sales, but 
they actually mark down and have sales pretty often. And I feel like Nordstrom really doesn't other than their sales section or if they're price matching outside of like the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So just wanted to mention that they are true to size and very, very comfortable if you're looking for a girly little wedge for your summer wardrobe. All right, this top is going to be another return for me. It's very similar to the floral one as far as the overall shape of it, but I didn't realize that it has like this opening here. Um, so yeah, I would have preferred if that was just like stitched up. But yeah, this one's gonna be a return for me personally. Threw back on those white jeans and then here is how the bow flats look. So I would personally wear these to like work for the summer. I think they're super cute. They're a fun little bow statement pop, which I personally am all about. All right, this is another cute floral dress for summer. It has very unique cut and fit. It also kind of reminds me of like Love Shack Fancy as far as the silhouette. Um, up here it has some ruching, kind of brings in your waist here, and then it's just like a flowy, comfy um, skirt on the bottom. The straps are adjustable and they're a little bit thicker. And overall the material is really soft and comfortable to wear. Um, I got a medium in this and I do feel like I could have gotten a small, I had to tighten the straps as far as they would go and it's still kind of like buckling a little bit through here. But overall, I really like the print and it's just comfortable. You could kind of dress this up or down. Let me know if you have found any cute things recently from Nordstrom or what your favorite pieces were from today's haul down in the comments below. And I will see you on Sunday with my May favorites. Bye.